Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, today we will be understanding about some important characteristics of probability experiments. Okay, we will be understanding about some important characteristics of the probability events. Right, so let's get started out here. Let me just quickly change up a color here. And then for sure we can proceed up at this particular place. Right. Uh, okay. I'll be start writing up here and we'll be seeing further what are the important characteristics of the probability experiments. Actually, there are some uh, law that you have to understand. Okay, fine. So the important, the important characteristic, character, character, stick, I S T I C. Okay, yeah. The important characteristic of probability of probability b i l i t y okay so the important characteristic of probability experiments probability experiments is the is the known is the known as the as the law of large numbers the as a law of large numbers now this respective law of large numbers what it is what it is about that i'll be talking about right here but uh, you have to understand of this particular thing that there are some important characteristics of probability experiments okay and that are known as the law of the large numbers this is a term which we use up here the law of the large numbers okay now for that i'll be taking up that what are these uh, respective law of large numbers okay now let's start up here that as the number as the number of repetitions as the number of repetitions repeat i t i o n s okay so as the number of repetitions of an experiment is is increased of an experiment of an experiment is let me just get down Law of large numbers says that as the number of repetitions of an experiment is increased, I N C. I'm just simply writing like that. Okay. So as the number of repetitions of an experiment is increased, the the relative frequency, <coughs> the relative frequency. So here comes my frequency. So the relative frequency obtained. The relative frequency obtained. In the experiment obtained in the experiment obtained in the experiment tends to tends to tends to become tends to become uh, closer and closer comes to become closer C L O closer and tends to become closer and closer to the to the theoretical 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 probability okay probability so the law of large numbers says that as the number of repetitions of an experiment of an experiment is increased like as uh, the the in, as we see of an increase in the number of repetitions of an experiment the relative frequency which you have uh, which you have actually obtained in the experiment that becomes closer and closer to the theoretical probability the relative frequency which is obtained in the experiment that slowly and slowly comes closer to the theoretical probability which you have okay even though now there is something more as well not only this is the law but there are some more things in this so even though even though the outcome even though the outcomes even though the outcomes don't happen don't happen even though the outcomes do not happen according do not happen according to any set according to any according to any set pattern according to any set pattern or order or according to any set pattern or order 
overall overall the long term observed overall the long term the long term observed the long term observed relative frequency the long, the long term observed relative frequency which would be right above we just got that out so the long term calc observed relative frequency relative frequency that uh, yes so the long term uh, observed the relative frequency will approach will will approach the theoretical probability the theoretical theoretical probability and i'm just simply writing up the short form for the probability like this okay the theoretical probability fine so uh, this is the law of large numbers which we do actually have a bit let me just stay hold on the cursor onto my hand then i could just move forward this is the law of large numbers okay what does it says it says that as the number of repetitions of an experiment increases the relative frequency which is obtained okay the relative frequency which is obtained in the experiment that tends to become closer and closer to the theoretical probability okay now even though the outcomes do not happen according to any set pattern or order okay even though the outcomes do not happen according to any set of pattern or order overall the long term observed relative frequency will approach the theoretical probability so law of large numbers says that whatever the relative frequency of an experiment is there that tends to become slowly a uh, closer to the pro theoretical probability it doesn't matter that um, according to any set or pattern or anything like that but yeah the relative frequency will approach closer and closer to the theoretical probability this is what the law of large numbers actually say here and that's one of the very important characteristic of a probability experiment that is to be known and not only known but that is as well to be kept up into the mind okay now uh okay i okay when do we use up a word that is empirical okay the word empirical is often used instead of the word observed so at some time if i used about observed or at if some point if i used about empirical so do not get confused in that observed and empirical are the somewhat are the same things only okay if i write empirical or if i write, write observe the meaning would be the absolutely same only because it could happen that sometimes if i go in the more technical terms so if i sometimes i could write up empirical right here i didn't have to use i simply used up the long term observe relative but instead of that i could simply use up long term empirical relative frequency okay so empirical is only used instead of observed only okay do not get just confused out onto that particular things which are mentioned up here right so the the relative frequency which you which you have up into your experiment that will approach closer and closer slowly to the theoretical probability and that is observed actually okay the long term uh, observed means the long term empirical relative frequency will slowly and gradually Uh, approach to the theoretical probability this is what is the law of the large numbers this is what actually it says right great so yeah hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you regarding the law of uh, large numbers at what do you have up here and what is this law of large numbers actually mentioned up here right hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you okay now further we'll be having different types of events we have the or event we have the and event so we'll be moving and looking about those events into the further videos so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care